Hey Libra, hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a general love reading for mid-January for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Libra. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but of course you can get a personal reading if you would like. All that information is in the description box. All right, so let's see, Libra, what is going on with you for the second half of January? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. Okay, so what is going on with you? Oh, starting off the reading, we have the tower. Okay, so a huge transformation or something just feels like it is just a complete um, change. A complete ending, something needs to be rebuilt, or it just feels like something major in your life may have come to an end, or just shifting to a huge degree. Crossed by the Ten of Swords, wow. Okay, major, major ending here. Um, so very, very specific. If you don't feel like there's something that is huge that is happening for you currently, or that it might be coming up, then this reading might not be for you. Um, whatever this is, yeah, it can feel like it is a little bit painful um, but usually when this happens right there's always a lesson involved and not only that there's always a new opportunity that follows all right this tower is going to be rebuilt something is going to be new leading you on your path let's see for the recent past we have the hierophant okay so we will clarify and see what that's about it could be um this could be involving something very very um major in your life like a marriage or something that you were very very um strongly committed to it could even be it could even be a job right even though this is a love reading um oftentimes our careers are involved in our relationships as well and for others this could definitely be just some huge belief a deeply rooted belief that you that you or the other person has been holding on to um let's see your energy we have the five of wands for and the world sorry i'm getting ahead of myself for them we have the star and the six of wands okay so we do have taurus as well as aquarius showing up here um it definitely feels like there's an ending that's happening for you, okay? It does feel like this is on your side unless the roles are reversed, okay? Because you also have the world card, which is suggesting a completion of some type, okay? But it's a successful completion. It's just that it's creating some conflict here for you. And that's completely understandable because the tower is a very intense energy. Um, for them... This, a person that you're dealing with here, they have a lot of hope. There is something that they're really wishing to accomplish or wishing to achieve. Possibly in relation to you, um, this could just be that they want to accomplish you, basically. We'll see. Um, coming up in the near future, we have the Ace of Wands. So there it is. There's that new beginning that is going to be beautiful, um, very spiritual, very passionate very energetic and the message for you here is the eight of cups very very clear um to let something go to let something go a allow there to be this ending allow that tower to fall basically because something really beautiful is coming in and it might even be this person okay for some of you it really depends but something needs to be released here so let's clarify and see what this is about So let's clarify the tower with the ten swords. Okay, and we have the sun, the two of wands, and the lovers. Yeah, okay, so this could be talking about a relationship. Um, relationship that maybe you felt would have 
made you very, very happy here with the sun. Um, I'm also, there's another message I was getting when I was looking at this Hierophant, and I feel like there has been some kind of, um, possibly like a wake-up call or something that you have come to realize. I feel like there has been some kind of, um, either like an ascension or like a spiritual upgrade maybe that you have felt and this is what is leading up to everything else that is taking place here and it does involve a particular connection here that you feel very um, strongly towards And it does come in with this two of wands, like, you know, you're you're thinking about this ending, you're thinking about what it is that needs to be released here, but there's a little bit of um, stalling, which again, you know, take your time, nobody's saying you, you need to rush anything, but, because it also feels like you're, you're, you're kind of planning around it almost, like trying to figure out, okay, how can I allow this to happen, and how will I deal with it afterwards? But again, I'm getting this message that whatever this is, it is ultimately going to lead you to that sun, as well as to this lover's energy. But maybe just in a different way than what you would think. At the moment, it could definitely feel like everything is just being destroyed. Everything is just coming crashing down. That your happiness is just, all of a sudden, it's like blown up into thin air. Let's see the higher hand. All right, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I do feel like this is, this could definitely be referring to, to a commitment could be it could be love it doesn't it doesn't have to be though um i definitely feel like there has been some kind of an upgrade that has led you to just really question a lot of things all right especially with this with the two sevens here the seven of pentacles and the seven of cups it's like questioning not really understanding which way it is that you're supposed to go and what it is that you're supposed to do what is coming up you know what which option will lead to what kind of a result um and if you some of you might even feel like you don't have an option in this, but it's still very um, confusing to you and it's like you're trying to put the pieces together. And I feel like this is something actually that has already happened. But I get that you're still trying to figure it out. It's like that tower is here. Or at least it's here in mid-January um, mid to the end of January or maybe a little bit after, it really depends. Again, whatever it is, it's it's going to lead you to something um, really beautiful. Let's see that Five of Wands, which is in your energy. The Four of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yeah, so whatever this commitment was, there's a lot of questions now, a lot of questions, a lot of conflict, a lot of trying to figure that out. Um, I'm even getting frustration concerning whatever this commitment was or is. See the world. Queen of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so you, your intuition is speaking to you, and so I feel like you're already feeling this. You know that this is a cycle that needs to be completed. Um, there has been a major lesson that you've learned here. And you know, sometimes this cycle that is completed, it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever the situation is, that it's going to be out of your life forever. It's just this is the cycle for for now at this point in time. And for some of you, yes, it could be something that, you know, it's just done, complete, end of story, never to go back to again. Um, but not for all of you. It, it Again, it really depends. Whatever the case, though, your, deep down, your intuition is telling you that this is complete. This is complete. 
and it's like you're almost there. I feel like, you know, it's like the book is closed and all that's left to do is to like put the lock on it, at least for now. It's like there's like one baby step left here, which could even be acceptance, right? Which is a gradual process. It's not something that can happen overnight. And whatever it is, I mean, it, it is difficult. It's definitely, um, yeah, not easy. All right, let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the star. All right, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Well, you're definitely showing up here very strongly on this person's mind. Um, and on this person's like, <laughs> in, in this person's dreams is what I'm hearing. Um, this person really, really wants you, is wishing for you. You, you are their wish fulfillment. Um, I don't know if it's this, if this person is the same situation that you are closing out or if that's a, a different situation, but there's definitely somebody here. I don't know, maybe for some of you, you haven't even met this person. It could be somebody from the past, all right, with this Five of Cups showing up here. Because, I mean, for the Five of Cups to be showing up, I do feel like it would be somebody that you know. Um, because there is a lot of grief here. And there's a lot of sadness. And that usually just comes when we're already involved with somebody or with somebody from our past. It almost feels like this person doesn't know how to handle you or how to handle some kind of grief here. Let's see the Six of Wands. And it feels like they're feeling, even though they're, they have this grief, it's like they're feeling pretty confident here. Alright, Seven of Swords, King of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person really wants to come after you, um, big time. They're holding back, though, with the Seven of Swords for whatever reason. I mean, and it could be because you're going through this tower, this completion of, you know, whatever it is. Maybe it's them also that you're, you know, you're <laughs> maybe you're ending things with them. So they're holding back. But they are in this mode where they want to attain you successfully feeling like they could um, jump through any obstacle in order to, to come to you. It's almost like this person wants to fight for you. I feel like they want to gain your, your recognition in some way. Um, they want to gain your uh, yeah, like recognition, admiration, but there's something more than that. Almost like they want to, like, deserve it. They want to prove something to you. Let's see the Ace of Wands. which is in the near future, and we have the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo showing up. We have the Hierophant showing up again. Okay, that's Horus. And the Emperor, Aries. Three major Arcana cards clarifying the Ace of Wands. This new beginning is going to be really deep. I mean, with the Hermit and the Hierophant, that is really deep energy. Something very, very major. Like, this is going to be something very significant in your life. I don't think I've done a reading like this in a very long time. This is huge. And I do feel like it's going to... That it is related to your own self and your spirituality and your spiritual growth. But I also feel like this is a connection. This is a commitment. With somebody who is really standing in their power as this emperor.
but this is coming after a lot of deep soul searching and after a lot of learning. It's not that far away though. As I said, it's like, I feel like it's just around the corner and it's really all about you releasing something. Again, could be the other way around. Um, but whatever the case though, I do see it happening. I mean, that Ace of Wands with those clarifiers, I mean, that's like, there's like no doubt. Alright, let's see the Eight of Cups for the message for you. The Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, basically, it, this is all about taking action. Taking action based on your own truth. In order to release whatever it is that is closing out here for you. It's all about that acceptance. And I do feel like it might involve other people here, all right, with the Three of Pentacles. It's some kind of, um, it could be some kind of a partnership, for example. But whatever the case, I'm also getting that it's also about um, accepting that sometimes something else needs to be compromised. at least temporarily. So yeah, Libra, wow. Major stuff happening, all right. If this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. All right, and we have the new moon in Aries. It's time to take action, which is what I just said with this Ace of Swords. Taking action to release something. So, yeah, that is it, Libra. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.